pigeons, a pest, or the ultimate sustainable gourmet festival food? Suffolk chef David Grimwood turns them into tasty pigeon burgers and says if you want to try one, they'll be on the menu at Glenham Hall's Folk East. These pigeons were shot uh, over the peas up at Chelsford Lodge next door to me, so it's, uh, they haven't come very many miles. Um, they do a heck of a lot of damage, but they're very good eating. Lovely. Well, these pigeons are destined to go to the amazing Folk East this year. Uh, We've had the fun, we've done the proper job, we've got these off the farmer's fields. I'm now going to hand them over to Alex, he gets all the real fun because he's going to have to pluck them and then we get to take the breasts off them and turn them into the amazing legendary pigeon burger. With the wings, so we'll cut them off. The uh, breasts, we don't bother with the rest of it, so... OK, we've plucked a pigeon, now we take the breasts off. Really, that's all the meat there is on a pigeon. The legs are so little. Right, so there's your two pigeon breasts. As you can see, you've got probably two, two and a half ounces of meat there, so that's going to be half of a, a four-ounce burger. This goes off to my butcher, and he'll blend that with Blyber Free Range Pork, some very special secret ingredients, and turn them into the most amazing legendary pigeon burger. Right, well here's your pigeon burger, ready to be eaten now. We've just put it on a wonderful Pump Street Bakery uh, soft bat. We've got some homemade cucumber pickles, red onion, you've got to have red onion, tomato, lettuce, and our own very special chili jam.